Good morning, everyone. April 25th, 2020. Hopefully near the end of this coronavirus thing. I know I showed a little bit of this to you last week. Uh, this is just doing a little bit of maintenance. This is my uh, brother's uh, log splitter on the large side I think it has seen a whole lot of firewood look at that uh, the the flanges on this I-beam are even turning up a little bit I don't know how I would fix that but certainly I'm gonna try to weld this thing back on Maybe three quarters of an inch steel there. So my brother came over and uh, we ripped into this thing. So I wasn't going to film any of it, uh, but... Uh, he went to do some errands, and and I uh, just been pecking away at this thing. Here's that broken, uh, I'll call it a fin, probably three-quarter inch thick. I used my uh, my red box here. To really burn that in uh, and I I beveled that out at at least a 45 maybe more so uh, 7018 stick welding but that's that uh, it is one heavy son of a gun holy moly uh, I guess you could pick that up but it's it's hard to carry so I use I just welded this tab on here temporarily going to uh, set it back in there now uh, my brother came over and the took the gas tank off cleaned this up a little bit but it's coming we've got uh, this slide here has this spacer uh, filthy big ugly spacer there and it's it's bent and it goes down in here I don't know if you can see it but that this side spacer must have been hit in here at one time but I really like this machine is a beast man like I said I try and undo that I don't know if I have the light on but uh, that's leaking there anyway I'll bring you back there's my red box by the way when I uh, need to really burn something in I turn that up and stick weld it. I was using uh, 7018. I don't know where they got to. Anyway, for that uh, cutting wedge there. So what did I do here today? This thing was leaking oil right out of there. Put a new O-ring in that. My brother, when my brother was here, we cleaned the gas tank out, or he did. I, I put it back on, put a gallon of gas in it, and it started first pull. These Hondas, they, they're good motors. Oh yeah, this thing here. Uh, that is uh, the, I don't know if you remember when I showed it before, there was this thing must have unscrewed and 
the gasket pushed out and it was leaking oil like a sieve. Um, I got my kitty litter down here. I'm, I thought it was going to dump on me, but uh, it didn't. So anyway, I picked away at uh, with my, I unscrewed it and no leaky and then I tightened it up. Of course, I don't have a spanner wrench here. See these holes in here? So I, I had to make one. Loosen. Tighten. Uh, that worked out pretty well. Put a paint mark right there so my brother can tell whether if it's on un, undoing on him. Here is that spacer. I put back in, straightened that all out. Uh, crank these bolts back. They they hold the uh, wedge on the flange there. Of course, I had to paint this thing. I know it's worth. <laughs> I don't know why I painted it, but it looks new now. I already showed you that weld there, I think. So, uh, one other thing on the other side I did is uh, this thing was uh, hanging down probably six or eight degrees more than it is now. It's not perfect. It's close. Uh, I, I, it was about here and down. I pushed it this way and brought it up and uh, ended up having fixing it right there. So, all in all, good day. You need a day like this just to uh, tinker with it. Never did get to the pipes. Uh, they really don't need to uh, be. But yeah, working good. And I think I'm going to leave that there. Let's see if I can lift this thing up here. Oh, goodness. So the way this thing works is you you normally push the log right into the uh, wedge there, but if you get run into a big gooner and you can't push it through, you take this thing off, and then this is another wedge and it comes and it splits it from the other side. Really pretty ingenious there. Uh, and then these spring-loaded. Uh, keep, uh, sides keep the wood moving right through here and up onto the conveyor belt which he didn't bring here there's the tow hitch for it but yeah good machine it's 8 years old by the way so I said uh, how many cords you got through this thing and he said uh, 175 to 200 cord per year for eight years. So you guys can do the math there. It's a credible amount of wood. And he has a mountain, literally hundreds of feet long and 20 feet high of logs. Maybe not hundreds of feet long, but maybe. Uh, that he needs to process so anyway uh, it is Saturday night now about 10 o'clock maybe and I'm gonna pack it in for today all right thank you guys see ya